Greetings, everybody. Welcome to this video. Um, in this video, I'm going to be dis discussing the technical description assignment. So this is assignment number three in my technical writing course. So um, you did that is what we are doing. So um, for this assignment, I want you guys to keep in mind the general tenet of technical writing. That technical writing is usually always for a general audience. That's the whole goal of technical writing to be able to translate difficult material over for the most simple sort of audience. So maybe just taking something simple and describing it for a fifth or sixth grade reading level. That's what the object of technical writing is. So what you're going to be doing for this assignment is you're going to be describing something. And you're going to be describing something that's very involved, very technical. And um, the way that you're going to do that is you're going to describe it for a general audience. So you're going to describe how something works for a general audience. And then you're also going to practice a description for a knowledgeable or specialized audience. So this is be an audience who knows exactly what you're talking about. So just to give you guys an example, um, let's say you're an IT major. Well, you were, maybe you were explaining how to change a hard drive in a PC. Well, you would have to explain that in a completely different way for a general audience, maybe somebody who doesn't know about computers. Maybe you have to go into almost painstaking detail there in a way. You would do that for in a different way than you would do for a crowd who knows about computers and knows about the parts and whatnot. So you guys can kind of see my point here. So um, you're going to be doing two of these. And each description should be about 600 to 800 words, 600 to 800 words. If, you're, if you don't have this amount of words, you're probably not um, giving your descriptions enough justice. So the purpose of the descriptions is not simply to help your audiences understand what something is or what it does or is used for. That's what a definition is. You want to help your audience see literally how something works. To this end, descriptions use visual detail, both in pictures and in words, to describe both the physical object mechanism or process and how it works. So the act there's actually a website called howstuffworks.com. And I'm going to be giving you guys during the process of writing this an assignment to find an article from that site. But um, the best articles in that site literally do this. They show how something works. So maybe something like how does the circulatory system work, right, in the body. So um, that website will be invaluable to helping you write your own. And also to note there is the mention of pictures. So not only in this assignment do I want you guys to include um, words to describe things, but this is a time now where we can start using visual aids, start practicing using visual aids to help out the reader. So each one of your descriptions should include some visual aid that you can actually refer to in your description to make sure that the reader can sort of put together what's going on with words as well as pictures. So um, I am asking that you bring the visual aids into the assignment. That's gonna be a key ingredient this time. And it will also help prepare you for the upcoming fourth and final assignment as well. 
So I say here, you should choose an object or process from your major or profession or from a hobby or interest. You might, for example, explain the specifications of a PC, describe the process of fracking, help the reader visualize the function of the human heart, Describe plans for a new environmentally friendly design for an apartment complex. That's kind of almost like you're giving a schematic. Or describe how steel was made. Just, rem just remember that whatever you're describing, just remember you're describing something. You're not telling the reader how to do something in this case. So that's what we already did when we did instructions. So every description should answer, should in a nutshell, answer the following questions. What is it? What does it do? What does it look like? What is it made of? How does it work? How has it been put together? What should, why should the reader use it? Then each description should have the following elements a sense of the overall object or process, including why it is significant to the audience, a clear explanation of each part's function, details appropriate to the audience's interest and level of knowledge. So remember for that one, for your general audience, you probably leave a couple of things out, but for the specialized audience, you can assume that they know things. A clear and appropriate organization, which will likely be one of the following types. So you can either organize this spatially, meaning when you want readers to visualize the mechanism or process as a static object. So a spatial organization literally describes the different spaces in a something. It's not like a house interior, a document, a disk box. A functional organization where you want the reader to see a mechanism or a process in action. So how does a camera work or maybe a smoke detector? And then a chronological organization where you want the reader to see a mechanism or a process according to how it's put together. So how is a tent put together or a piece of furniture? And then include a graphic. And extra points here for those of you who create your own graphics. So if you're describing something and you maybe take your own picture, right? extra points for that. And then on each description, I do want you to include a title and then make sure you identify which audience this description is for. So you might ask yourself, what's our timeline? We got about two and a half weeks to do this. So I'm filming this video again in the future classes, uh, check the prompt, but for my spring 22 course, um, there'll be a proposal due in about a week where you propose and pitch your topic idea to me. And then, um, you'll, we will actually have this thing due in a couple of weeks on Tuesday the 5th. So that's exactly two weeks from when I'm making this video. And you will have several lead up assignments leading to the uh, submission of this assignment. So I hope that was sufficient detail in explaining this assignment to you guys. Um, I will give you plenty. One of the assignments I will give you will be examples, of technical descriptions. Then you can kind of use the packed formula for figuring out did they do, did some of these examples do a good job of describing these things? So I will be giving you plenty of examples that you can sort of model yourself on. So um, until next time, guys, take care and good luck.